Hey everybody, it's me, Kevin, and as you can see here, I got Dogman, A Tale of Two Kitties today. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive with a Dogman coloring poster inside, and uh, got it. Uh, anyways, let me read to you a sample of the book. Dogman, Behind the Scenes. Hi everybody, it's your old pal pals George and Harold. Yo, what up dogs? We're in fifth grade now. We're older and wiser, until we mature, I might add. We even got a new teacher named Miss Shibis. She's pretty cool. Except for one thing, she makes us read classic literature. Moby Dick. <laughs> this month we're reading A Tale of Two Cities. And we're having a dickens of a time. <laughs> like we said, we're totally mature now. Anyway, we didn't think we'd actually like it, but it's actually pretty good. A Tale of Two Cities, Charles Dickens. Yeah, and it's deep and stuff. It inspired us to make a brand new Dogman graphic novel. Now we're deep too. Dogman, A Tale of Two Kitties. And so Treehouse Comics proudly presents A Tale of Oppression. A Tale of Redemption. A Tale of Rebirth. And A Tale of Hope. A Tale of Two Kitties. But first, a recap of our story uh, of our story thus far. Dogman, super recap. They were the best of cops. They were the worst of cops. Z Z Z. Z Z Z. It was a time of cowardice. Ha ha bomb. It was an era of bravery. It was a moment of melancholy. Kaboom. It was an hour of of worrisomeness. Wee -oo, wee -oo. It was a day of despair. Oh no, the cop's head is dying and the dog's body is dying. It was an apache of inspiration. I know. Let's see the dog's head onto the cop's body. Hooray! Yay! It was a procedure of precariousness. It was a surgery of success. Ready for Dogman! There was a cop with a dog's head on the cold streets of a savage day. I mean city. There was a cat with a wicked heart enhanced in kitty custody. Rats, cat jail. And so begins our tale of mirth and woe. It ain't easy being deep and mature, but somebody's got to do it. Dreas Comics proudly presents Dogman, Chapter the First. We're called to duty. Duty. By George and Harold. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Hey everybody, cops. We're in the news. And it's a good story this time. Look, trending news. Dogman and Chief are heroes by Sarah Hadoff. Actually, in real life, which is not part of the book, the real news for some reason is fake news. I can't wait to show Dogman. Hey, where is Dogman? Choo, choo, choo. Dogman. Oh, Dogman. Chief's office. No, wait. No. Stop. Get off. Quit it. Quit it. Bad doggy. How many times have we talked about about this? That's no way for a cop to behave. I'm getting tired of this. Tired, tired, tired. Hey Chief, didn't you want to show us dog man I mean to show dog man the news? Oh yeah. Look, we're heroes. Because we saved the world from Flippy. Lick, lick, lick. Evil genius fish thwarted. 
Actually, if you didn't read the last book, which is Dogman Unleashed, which you should totally buy, it was about how Dogman saved the, the world from, from Flippy, who was a fish. It says here that scientists are going to study Flippy's brain. Dogman, I have an important job for you. I'm putting you in charge of security. Who wants to protect the scientists? Who's a good protector? Who wants to protect and serve? Go protect him! Gee, Chief, are you sure that was a good idea? Sure, I'm sure. Why not? Well, Flippy is a dead fish. Remember how Dogman likes to roll around in dead fish? Well, he never do anything like that. Dogman is a good doggy. Clunk. <laughs> okay, so that was the first two chapters of Dogman, A Tale of Two Kitties. Well, this is not a promotion from Scholastic or Dave Pilkey or anything, but, but you should totally buy this book. It's pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and become part of my notification squad by hitting that little bell and comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Dab.